So here we are in San Francisco on the highest point in the city, Twin Peaks. Whether you are a tourist or an animal or a native plant, it's the hills of San Francisco that make the topography here and the geology unique. We have a lot of species and a lot of things that happen on these hilltops that you won't find in other places. We have really worn down bare sediment, which has very low nutrients in it. And we have some pretty harsh conditions like the wind, like the exposure, like not a lot of rain. What that means is we have a very specialized plant community. And with that plant community, we have specialized insects. In fact, right here, there's the reintroduced Mission Blue Butterfly. Very small range, endemic, endangered, rare butterfly of the Bay Area lives here and just a few other spots. The other thing we see up here on these hilltops is migration. From here, we have a 360 view. We can see birds, whether they're coming from the north to the south like they will be today, hawks, finches, all kinds of migrant birds, or whether you're talking about butterflies to gradually move their way up to these hilltops to congregate and find food and navigate and find where they are. The hills of San Francisco are a great place to get a sense of place about where we are, not only just to look out at the city and the beautiful views, but also to realize where we are in time in natural history to look at all the different species that we share this city and earth with. So here we are on the other side of Twin Peaks. And from here, we could see downtown, the Bay Bridge, Buena Vista Park, and Corona Hill. Up here on Twin Peaks, we're actually part of a geographic feature that they often call the Corona Hill, Corona Hills. And this is really a kind of feature that makes us unique around here. Right up here close to me, we've got things like coyote brush, We've got the cow parsnips. We've got a lot of plants of the coastal scrub ecosystem. We can look out and see all of the different microclimates and different kinds of topography that would comprise a lot of different plant communities. Right now, I'm looking off towards the northeast. You can see far away features up in the northeast bay. Right here, we're in an area that has extremely shallow soils, a lot of full exposure, a lot of wind. This is really in contrast to where we're going next, over to the forest, a whole different set of challenges, a whole different set of adaptations the plants have to use in order to survive there. Low light and much wetter soils. Off we go.